spirit, the spirit of wisdom, open our minds to receive your truth. Come, Holy Spirit of understanding, may we see clearly the signs you have given. Come, Holy Spirit, the spirit of judgment, may we discern what will lead us to life. Come, Holy Spirit, the spirit of courage, may we speak out where injustice is done. Good afternoon, Divine Savior. Welcome to this wonderful celebration of Pentecost. Today, in our second reading, St. Paul makes a very important statement. No one can say Jesus is Lord unless he or she is under the influence of the Holy Spirit, reminding us that it is the Holy Spirit that helps us to recognize the Lordship of our Divine Savior. Recognizing the Lordship or supremacy of Christ is one task that was very difficult for the tempter, Satan, because he was without the Holy Spirit. May we welcome and appreciate all of the gifts made available to us by the outpouring of the Holy Spirit. We welcome all to this Eucharistic celebration as we invite you to participate actively wherever and however you are able. of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with 
Good afternoon all. Good afternoon. We celebrate the solemnity of Pentecost. Today's gospel, Jesus tells his disciples, Receive the Holy Spirit, whose sins you forgive are forgiven them, and whose sins you return are returned. May we sincerely acknowledge our sins and ask for God's mercy and pardon. Lord Jesus, Son of God, you baptize us in the Holy Spirit. Christ Jesus, in you we are sanctified and called to holiness. Lord Jesus, you are the revelation of the merciful love of God. Almighty God, have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Glory, glory to God in the highest. Glory, glory to God in the highest. And on earth, peace to people of you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O oh God, almighty Father, glory, glory to God in the Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our bread. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Glory, glory to God in the highest, glory, glory to God in the highest, and on earth these two people of goodwill. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord. to God in the highest glory, glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty ever-living God, who will the Paschal mystery to be encompassed as a sign in 50 days. Grant that from out of the scattered nations, the confusion of many tongues may be gathered by heavenly grace into one great confession of your name. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. 
ولما حضر يوم الخميس كان الجميع معا بنفس واحدة وصار بغدة من السماء صوت كما من هبوب ريح عاصفة وملأ كل البيت حيث كانوا جالسين وظهرت لهم ألسنة منقسمة كأنها من نار واستقرت على كل واحد منهم وامتلأ الجميع من الروح القدس وابتدأوا يتكلمون بألسنة أخرى كما أعطاهم الروح أن ينطقوا وكان يهود رجال أتقياء من كل أمة تحت السماء ساكنين في أورشليم فلما صار هذا الصوت اجتمع الجمهور وتحيروا كل واحد كان يسمعهم يتكلمون بلغته فبهت الجميع وتعجب قائلين بعضهم لبعض أترى ليس جميع هؤلاء المتكلمين جليليين فكيف نسمع نحن كل واحد منا لغته التي ولد فيها فارتيون وماديون وعيلامون والساكنون ما بين النهرين واليهودية وكبدوكية وبنتسة وآسيا وفريجية وبنفلية ومصر نواحي ليبية التي نحو القيرواني والرومانيون المستوطنون يهودا ودخلاء كريتيون وعرب نسمعهم يتكلمون بألسنتنا بعظائم الله We pray Spirit and they are 
Praxis B. Mincha al Khadisar. Shlo praxis au shlichet achai barachmar. Chut bishba eidet pantagoste. Chet tumumlun yumanet pantagoste. Chet jimye wa kulle am udale. Min shelki ya hulye. Chut kale. Min shmeye achpocha chelana. Upishle. Milia Kulha Beta et Tiva Vajau. U Pishlon Hizi Lady Shanet et Eva Pulia Achnura Tulil Kulha Mine. U Pishlon Milia Bruchat Kutcha. U Shurilon Lenzuma Bilishana Prisha Achau Marucha Yavilon Lenzuma. Utwenasha Amranet Orishlam. وزديان من آلاها يهوداي من كل طايبة تخشمية شتهويل أو قالة جمعيلة طايبة وششلة وسبب كل ناشي منهم همزومة بلشاني أجوبة شت بمار الخاء الأوخينا أن كل هنزمن جليالانا داخي أخنم بشماي وكل خامنا لشان الجاني برتوية ومداية وألناية وآنية عمارة جبيت نهرا يهوداية قابوتقاية ومن أطرد بانطس وآسيا ومن أطرد برجيا وبامبولية ومصرا وأطرى خات الدولية قربة القرنية وآني تيل من روما يهوداية وكبورة من قريطة وأرباية ها بشماية وخمزومة نبليشانة آجبويات آلاها Let's pray Thanks be to God Spirit, Lord divine, come from hearts of heaven shine, come with blessed radiance bright. Come, O oh Father of the poor, come whose treasured gifts endure, come our hearts unfailing light. Sweet repose in our labor, rest most sweet, pleasant coolness in the heat, consolation in our walls. Without your presence here, life itself would disappear. Nothing thrives apart from you. Cleanse our soiled hearts of sin, buried souls refresh within. Wounded lives to health 
you a reading from the Holy Gospel according to John glory to you Lord on the evening of that first day of the week when the doors were locked we are the disciples we are for fear of the Jews Jesus came and stood in their midst and he said to them Peace be with you. When he had said this, he showed them his hands and his side. The disciples rejoiced when they saw the Lord. Jesus said to them again, Peace be with you. As the Father has sent me, so I send you. And when he had said this, he breathed on them and said to them, Receive the Holy Spirit, whose sins you forgive are forgiven them, and whose sins you return are returned. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. My friends in Christ, I read a story about a Jesuit priest who was once asked by a doctor why he preached the existence of the Holy Spirit as the third person of the Blessed Trinity. The doctor asked, do you ever see, hear, taste, Smell the Holy Spirit? The priest answered, No. The doctor continued, Do you ever feel the Holy Spirit? The priest replied, Yes, indeed. Well, said the doctor, There are four of the five senses against you. Father, so I doubt that there is a Holy Spirit. Then it was the turn of the priest to ask. You are a doctor of medicine, the priest said. It is your business to treat pains. Did you ever see, hear, taste, or smell a pen? said the priest. No, answered the doctor. Did you ever feel the pen? Yes, I did, said the doctor. 
Then there are four senses against you, yet you and I know that there is a pen. By the same proof, I know that the Holy Spirit exists, continued the priest. As Christians, we do believe that the Holy Spirit exists because we feel his presence in us. Even if we do not see, hear, taste, or smell the Holy Spirit, we do believe his existence. It is because, as Anthony de Mello noted, for those who believe in God, no explanation is necessary. For those who do not believe in God, no explanation is possible. Pentecost is a feast which occupies a very important and prominent position in the church's history and liturgical calendar. This is because today marks the actual beginning of the church's missionary endeavor. The first reading tells the story of how Christ fulfilled his promise to his disciples who faithfully heeded their master's injunction, do not leave Jerusalem until the advocate comes. As we read in Acts of the Apostles, 1, chapter 1, verse 4. From the perspective of this reading, we can say that today's celebration is that, is that of a promise fulfilled because of the faithful obedience and steadfastness in prayer of the disciples. Like the early disciples, every true believer has been empowered specially by the Holy Spirit. We have been refilled with a new zeal for evangelization. Like the early disciples, we must welcome and appreciate the various gifts made available to us through the outpouring of the Holy Spirit. Furthermore, it is important that we understand very well St. Paul's teachings on the issue of gifts and speaking in tongues in 1 Corinthians chapters 12 and 14. It is quite unfortunate these days that so many lies have been told against the Holy Spirit, especially through the speaking of false, first and learned tongues. This ought to be a special gift from God and does not come through learning and practicing. Today, it is quite easy and alarming to hear people using parlance like, the Spirit says, the Spirit moved me, the Spirit ministered to me, I had the Spirit speak to me, etc. Anyone who prays or speaks false tongues is both blaspheming against God and committing sacrilege, a sin against the Holy Spirit. This gift was given to the apostles to aid them spread the good news to different people who gathered from all nations to listen to them. It was not given to them to boost their ego for their own personal or selfish interests or to break away and found their own churches or to extort money and materials from people. Instead, it was given to them to pass on the message of eternal life unto others. In our gospel narrative, Jesus says, As the Father sent me, so I am sending you. Receive the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit we receive has, has not come to replace Christ. Instead, as he was with Christ, he has come to help us on our faith journey. He has come to help us forgive the sins of one another, for without his aid, we cannot do this. Finally, having bred the Spirit on his disciples, Jesus commissioned them 
as ministers of the sacrament of penance or reconciliation. Whoever sins you forgive are forgiven, and whose sins you return are returned. Hence the Spirit we have received commissions and empowers us to move out with wisdom and integrity to testify to the Lordship of Christ. May we earnestly pray to God to send forth his spirit and renew the face of the earth. May we now profess our faith. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, True God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made for us men and for our salvation. He came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. On this Feast of Pentecost, may we entrust our needs and those of the world to the Lord of life. Let us pray for peace in the whole world, that our all-loving God instill his peace in the heart of everyone. We pray. Bilang paggunita natin ng Pentecosta at sa pamamagitan ng patnubay at inspirasyon na dulot ng Espiritu Santo, ay maipagpatuloy nating isagawa at ibunyag ang mensahe ng ating Panginoon, ang mensahe ng pagmamahal at awa. We pray. Per tutti gli afflitti della pandemia, sia dalla malattia che dalla soppressione economica. Che l'amore di Dio sia accolto in tutti i nostri cuori, preghiamo. Our prayer. Xin cho chúng con tôn trọng lẫn nhau và phát triển ý thức của cộng đồng thế giới bằng cách làm theo sự khôn ngoan của Chúa Thánh Thần. Ngự trong lòng tất cả chúng con. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Nous prions pour tous ceux qui ne savent pas parler le langage de la paix et pour travailler tous ensemble pour construire un monde plus pacifique. Seigneur, écoute notre prière. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. 
we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Para poner fin a cualquier tipo de discriminación, oremos. Lord, hear our prayer. Bauta kaita tawila hidruta kakabelta khatuta drukhat qutcha lubawata kakhudat jani ukachulli mat amrinai salahu talbakh maran shamila slutan we pray lord hear our prayer rahbatun qawiya في استخدام العديد من الهدايا التي أعطيت لنا والشعور بالامتنان للهدايا من الآخرين والتي قد تكون مختلفة عن منطقتنا We pray Lord hear our prayer For those who are graduating from school relocating or unsure of their next step and for all who have recently been or soon will be ordained as priests and deacons, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For that they may rest in the eternal peace of Christ, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For the sick and the suffering among us, and for those who have died, especially those listed in our parish bulletin, the prayers of all of us, and the intentions on our Divine Savior prayer tree, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. We also pray for our nation, that we may work together to end the violence perpetrated by racism, verbal attacks, deadly weapons, and cold indifference. May through the help of the Holy Spirit, our nation and countries around the world will become heavens of peace. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. God of glory and might, you send out your spirit to renew the face of the earth. Hear our prayers, that by the same Spirit we might be refreshed and reinvigorated to proclaim your word of peace and joy through lives of devotion and grace through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen.
Brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all his holy church. Pour out upon these gifts the blessings of your spirit, we pray, O Lord, so that through them your church may be imbued with such love that the truth of your saving mystery may shine forth for the whole world through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you and, and with, with your, your spirit. spirit. Lift up your hearts, we lift, lift them up, up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It, it is, is right, right and yeah. just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for bringing your Paschal mystery to completion, you bestowed the Holy Spirit today on those you made your adopted children. By uniting them to your only begotten Son, the same Spirit as the church came to birth, opened to all peoples the knowledge of God, and brought together the many languages of the earth in profession of the one faith. Therefore, overcome with Paschal joy, every land, every people exults in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. You, therefore, Almighty Father, we bless through Jesus Christ, your Son, who comes in your name. He himself is the word that brings salvation, the hand you extend to sinners, the way by which your peace is offered to us when we ourselves had turned away from you on account of our sins. You brought us back to be reconciled, O Lord, so that converted at last to you, we might love one another through your Son, whom for our sake you handed over to death. And now, celebrating the reconciliation Christ has brought us, we entreat you to sanctify this gift by the outpouring of your Spirit, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, whose command will fulfill when we celebrate these mysteries. For when about to give his life to set us free, as he reclined at supper, he himself took bread into his hands, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, on that same evening, he took the chalice of blessing in his hands, confessing your mercy, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith.
celebrating, therefore, the memorial of the death and resurrection of your son, who left us this pledge of his love. We offer you what you have bestowed on us, the sacrifice of perfect reconciliation. Holy Father, we humbly beseech you to accept us also together with your Son, and in this saving banquet, graciously to endow us with his very Spirit, who takes away everything that estranges us from one another. May he make your church a sign of unity and an instrument of your peace among your people. And may he keep us in communion with Francis, our Pope, and Jaime, our Bishop, and all the bishops and your entire people. Just as you have gathered us now at the table of your son, so also bring us together with the glorious Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed apostles and all the saints, with our brothers and sisters and those of every race and tongue who have died in your friendship, bring us to share with them the unending banquet of unity in a new heaven and a new earth where the fullness of your peace will shine forth in Christ Jesus our Lord. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen, 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 amen. At the Savior's command, I'm formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. So we now listen as Benjamin Mike leads us in the same Lord's Prayer in Aramaic, the original language of Jesus. Thank you. Aun de Shmeyan at Kadash, Shmach Tete Malkutach, Nehwa Suyanach, Ekinna de Shmeya Ob Ara, Haulan Lachmasim Kana Yumana, Ushoklan Hobin. Ekinnat abhtan shoklan l khayawin, la ta'lan nisuna, illa pasalan membisha, motal diya khila malkuta, ukhela u tishbukta lil alam almin, amin. Amen. Thank you. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and save from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always and with us. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you all.
behold the Lamb of God. Behold, he will take away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I'm not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say a word and my soul shall be healed. prayer for spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament of the altar. I love you above all things. And I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come spiritually into my heart. I embrace you because I know you are already there. And I will never be separated from you. Help me to unite myself with you and with all the brothers and sisters of the divine Savior and the whole world. Amen. In the presence of our God, as we gather here in Christ, feel the Spirit breathe upon us, the breath of life, grace, and divine. We have come to break the bread. We have come to share our lives. Let us bring these fruits to the table. The love of God grows in Let us pray. May these gifts we have consumed benefit us, O Lord, that we may always be aflame with the same Spirit whom you wondrously poured out on your apostles through Christ our Lord. Amen. 
just a few announcements. Our annual parish talent show takes place this evening at 7 p.m. So remember to join us. Yes, yes, yes. It will be on Facebook and also YouTube. So don't miss it. It will be beautiful. A lot Thank of you. talents to show, yeah. to shake. So <laughs> it's going to so. be perfect. Go off without a hitch at all. It's just going to okay, be Okay, okay. Yeah. So don't miss it, please. <laughs> And also, we have just begun our phone calls to our senior citizens in the parish and expect to complete these calls over the next two weeks by June 15th. If you're a senior citizen and do not receive a call from a volunteer or staff member by then, please contact us because we may not have the correct phone number for you or we may not know that you are over 65, please reach out to either Caroline Easton or Catherine Hess via the parish office phone number. And okay, we shall resume the Eucharistic celebration here at Divine Savior on the weekend of June the 13th and 14th. There will be masses on Saturday, June 13th at 4.30 p.m. We used to have it. And also on Sunday, June 14th, there will be masses here at 8.30 a.m. and also 11.30 a.m. We shall continue to observe all the safety rules, physical and social distancing, wearing our mask, etc. So masses will also be Masses will continue to be live streamed in our parish Facebook and the YouTube for those who can't attend. Also, there will be further clarifications on this by next weekend, so stay tuned. And lastly, Divine Saviors Online Book Club is open. Join now for more information on this book club and how to join, send an email to Sharon at DivineSavior.com. And in a very special way, I thank you all for active participation at this Pentecost Mass. In a very special way, I thank the Benjamins for their, you know, helping us to do the readings. In Aramaic, I think. Yes. Very good. So I feel the spirit, you know, <laughs> moving us. Yeah. And also, I thank Jerry, Len, and the wife. Well, thank you so much, Tina, so, for the beautiful music, as usual. All right. Thank you. So. Okay. Any other announcements? Okay. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. My mighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Thanks, Thanks be to, to God. God. Hallelujah, hallelujah. And be a true spirit too. Spirit of the living God, burn in our hearts and make us a people of hope and compassion. And be a to a spirit too. Send out your spirit. Send out your spirit. Say out in the bar, send out and renew the face of the earth. Send out and renew the face of the earth. When the promise wind of change, when 